Hello there, this is Yana Smakula for W Plus 9, and thank you for joining me today. I have a hello, sweet friend, pineapple card to share with you, featuring a little bit of simple stamping and some quick techniques. So let's jump right in. I'm starting to work on this card by stamping pineapples, and I'm using two colors of ink from W Plus 9. I have Hayride, and I also have Wild Mango ink colors, and I'm doing a rock and roll technique. So I'm inking my stamp with the lighter Hayride ink, and I'm also adding a little bit of the darker ink at the bottom of the stamp. So I'm creating a slight transition of color from lighter to darker to make sure my pineapples aren't flat looking and they have a little bit of extra texture and interest to them. I also stamped two flowers and I used W plus nine, Little Piggy and Sweet Gelato inks. And next I used my dies and I cut the images out. So I have four pineapples and I have two flowers. Now, the reason I die cut the pineapples before I added the pineapple crowns to them is because the crown comes as a separate, uh, as a separate stamp. And to make sure I stamped it exactly where it needed to be, I die cut the image out first and then I stamped the crown. Now, if you do not have companion dies for, the, for these stamps, you do not have to worry about it. You can stamp your pineapple crown right there as is. But if you do have a coordinating die, it's best to either first cut the entire shape out and then do the stamping all together, or first stamp either of the parts, maybe the crown or the body of the pineapple, and then stamp the other part. I used Last Leaf and Appletini inks to stamp the crown of the pineapple, and I also finished stamping my flowers, and I added little black centers to my flowers. Now I'm going to use foam adhesive and I'm going to foam mount some of my pineapples in place. So I've already adhered the two bottom pineapples. And before I go ahead and foam mount the other two pineapples onto my cart, I want to stamp the main sentiment. So I'm going with a simple hello. I simply adore the stamp set and the, the font here or the handwriting on this set. Now I've stamped the hello directly onto my card base. And now I need to make sure I align my images perfectly well so that the sentiment continues onto the pineapples. Now, I don't know if there's a simpler way to do this, but the way I do the stamping is I place my die cut over the stamped sentiment. I ink up my stamp. I actually cleaned it and inked up just the O for the pineapple on the right. And then being very careful, I stamped the O onto the pineapple. I didn't press too hard because I didn't want any residual ink on the other letters to transfer onto my background panel. But I did press with the usual amount of pressure onto the pineapple. And since it is a different, a separate layer on this card, I was able to get that nice and perfect ink transfer just of the letter O. The same way I aligned the other pineapple onto my card. I inked up my hello stamp and I stamped the, the hello onto the pineapple. Now, because I wanted my card to be slightly different, I wanted a little bit of additional and unexpected interest to this project. I cut the pineapple, the last fourth pineapple in half. So I cut the bottom part off and I just foam mounted the top part of the pineapple. When I originally made this card, I actually did that because I messed up the bottom part of the pineapple. So I made that more, more out of a necessity rather than just the design idea. But when I was filming this card, this is, um, I'm duplicating this card, I didn't have that necessity, but I still wanted to cut it off to have that interesting look to my project. Next, I shaped the little flowers, the little the pink die cut flowers with my fingers and I adhered them onto the pineapples. I also used the little dotted details and I stamped those in Appletini ink directly onto my card base. I love adding those stamp details as to me, they look like ink splatter. But because this is a stamp, I'm not actually splattering any ink onto my card. This is way more controlled and I can decide in what color I can have it and, and where I, I want to have it on my pattern, how much of it I want to have this on my pattern. So it makes it a lot easier and a lot more controlled. If you're into more cleaner and simpler cards, I think this is a fantastic way to add ink splatter onto your projects. 
So here's the look at the other card that I made, the, the original project. And all you have to do now to finish this one is to adhere your panel onto an A2 top folding card base and add heat embossed sentiment. I picked sweet friend for this card, but of, of course you can go with any other sentiment you like. This can be a happy birthday, a miss you card, um, sending hugs or anything of that sort. So this finishes my today's video. I hope I have given you some new ideas to try and explore. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check W Plus 9 for more creative inspiration. See you next time. Bye.